Today I'm going to show you how to convert an, an IP address into binary. Uh, it's extremely simple, really, as long as you know how to convert numbers into binary already. So uh, if you don't know how to, then watch my other video on how to convert numbers into hexadecimal and binary, and then come back and do this uh, once you know how to convert numbers into binary. Uh, this here is a... Um, and I, a general IP address, it's something that you would very likely find on your own home computer. Uh, the IP address on, that I have right here is um, 192.168.207.135. So uh, this number can be a little different. Uh, it really depends on what you're working with. A lot of the time it's a 1 or a 20. And then uh, this number is like your specific computer's number, basically. Like this is going to be the same on all the computers on the network. And, well, these three will all be the same on all the computers on the network and while well, this one will be different unless you're on like a much bigger network and I'll explain that later but uh, so basically to transfer an IP address into binary you just have to split it up uh, into like this is 192.1 there's like a dot in between these so 192.168.20.46 and each of these numbers can go from 0 to 255 and that's because each number is represented by one byte of data that's just generally how computers work is they work in bits and bytes and a byte is 8 bits and so the high the most uh, that Eight bits can represent is the number 200 uh, is 256 different numbers, which is zero through 255. So uh, that's why the highest number you'll ever see is a 255 in an IP address. And then, uh, so once you're actually transferring it to the binary, is you just individually take each of the numbers and put them into binary. So 192 in binary is one one, and then uh, six zeros and you'll always want to write it out as eight digits even when like there's three leading zeros like those zeros don't change the number at all they cannot be there and it's the same value but you want to represent it as a whole byte because that's what it really is and I'll show you I'll explain a bit more about why you want to do that in just a minute and uh, so once you have done each number individually, then this is the binary representation of this IP address. So it would be 11000000 dot 10101, like you get the point, so it's going to be a dot in between each of those. Why this is important and useful is uh, there's another number that you might notice that if you go to the, uh, if you check your IP address here, I'm just typing in IP config, uh, you're going to notice this subnet mask. Subnet mask basically says what type of network you are on. There's several different kinds. There's class A networks, which are going to be 255.0.0.0, class B, which is two 255s and then two zeros, and class C, which are three 255s and then a zero. Then there's like class A, B, and some weird stuff, but I, like I'm just going to explain how a class A, B, and C work, uh, just to give you a general idea. So with a class uh, this is a class C network in general because 192, 168, 20, that's like your home network and that can support uh, this many computers. Like it can support 255 unique computers without having to change this number to then support more. Uh, and that's because, so if we have the subnet mask of 255.255.255.255 uh, then when we transfer that to binary uh, this is going to be all ones, so eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a zero. So what you'll notice here is that, like I said, these three are the ones that you're are going to be basically the same on all the computers on your same subnet. And then this one is going to be unique to your computer, like no other computer that has these leading values will have this same number. They're going to have like a 45, 192.168.20.45 or a 100, but they're going to have something different because this is your unique computer. And that's because with a class C network, you see the ones here, that means that all of these numbers are used for your subnet value. Like it's not anything to do with your unique computer, it's what network you're on. And then the zero is here, well actually sorry, this should be eight zeros. Um, this says that these bits here are all your unique uh, computer value. So actually, I guess I will get a bit into class A, B stuff right here. So if instead this number was something different than 255, like if it was 
I don't know, like 179. And let's just transfer 179 to, uh, to binary. Um, so it's 1011, 1011, 0011. Now you can see that uh, basically what would happen is that these, anywhere where there's a 1 that corresponds to that bit, then that bit would also be used for your, uh, for the, like, overall uh, network address and then the unique ones for your computer just like uh, with the 255 this one is completely unique to you uh, then the, everywhere there's a zero this number would be unique to your computer too. It's kind of a confusing concept but uh, I guess I've gone a little overboard on <laughs> this tutorial about uh, making an IP address into binary but that is basically how you make it into binary and why it matters that you make it into binary. I don't know if I explained it all that well, but uh, I covered the basic concepts. If there's any questions you want to ask, then just put it in the comments.